In the heart of a small, quaint town in England lies an art gallery that everyone is talking about. Its centrepiece, the enigmatic glass exhibit known as The Reflector, has sparked endless curiosity and speculation. Legend has it that this installation possesses mystical abilities, allowing those who gaze into its delicate surfaces to uncover hidden truths and long-buried secrets. As the sun sets, bathing the gallery in a golden hue, the townsfolk gather for the grand opening, their excitement palpable. Alex, a local journalist with an insatiable appetite for intriguing stories, stands among the buzzing crowd. Disillusioned with the daily grind of small-town reporting, Alex's curiosity is notably piqued by the mystical allure of the reflector. With a notebook in hand and a sarcastic quip always ready, Alex mingles with the attendees, their eyes catching snippets of conversations that hint at the exhibit's rumoured powers. The eclectic mix of art lovers, sceptics and the simply curious creates a rich tapestry of whispered secrets waiting to be unravelled. Near the entrance, a group of elderly women hushedly discuss a scandal from decades past, their eyes furtively glancing towards the glinting glass. Alex edges closer, jotting down notes while simultaneously catching sight of a young couple their tense discussion seemingly dissolving into the cool reflection of the sculpture. Each fragment of conversation seems to weave a thicker web of mystery around the enigmatic exhibit, drawing Alex deeper into its intrigue. As the evening progresses, Alex encounters a former town official who paradoxically swears by the reflector's powers, yet avoids looking directly into it. Intrigued, Alex gently prods for more details, noting the firm belief and barely hidden fear that tightens the man's expression. What could compel such strong emotions? The journalist wonders. They sense a narrative much larger than any mundane assignments they'd previously endured. The promise of uncovering something extraordinary. Just as Alex decides to look into the reflector themselves, the curator of the gallery appears, a woman with an air of both elegance and mystery. She introduces herself and shares a few enigmatic words about the exhibit's creation and purpose, her tone suggesting she knows more than she lets on. Moments later, as Alex stands poised to gaze into the glass, the air seems to thicken, as if the reflector is waiting to reveal its secrets. The gathered crowd holds its collective breath, the anticipation palpable. When Alex finally looks into the reflector, the reflection is both familiar and oddly revealing. They see not just their own face, but a montage of memories and faces. Each image, each fleeting moment whispers a secret, hinting at connections and stories long forgotten or ignored. Alex is both captivated and overwhelmed, the previously faint line between scepticism and belief dissolving before their very eyes. The glass is not just a reflector, but a portal, a bridge to unseen truths. Eager to document and untangle the revelations, Alex knows this story is unlike any other. They have found not only a powerful narrative, but perhaps a means to reawaken the sense of wonder they had lost. The gallery, once just another venue, has transformed into a labyrinth of discovery and introspection, and the journalist is now on a path shrouded in mystery, yet illuminated by the revelations of the reflector. As the night grows darker, Alex stands ready to uncover the truths that lie just beneath the surface. As Alex stands before the mirror, a mystic flood of vision sweeps over them, painting a vivid portrait of concealed turmoil harboured by the townsfolk. Each reflection reveals a confession so profound and intertwined in deceit that it unravels the lives of many. The first vision brings forth Sophie, a woman from a neighbouring village, ensnared in guilt. Her betrayal extends beyond infidelity. She shares an intimate moment with her husband's best friend, a secret she has harboured for 16 years. Her son, she claims as her husband's, is a constant reminder of her transgression. Her whispered confession to the mirror, I can't lose them, even if they're not really mine, encapsulates her anguish, trapped in a web of lies, terrified of the familial destruction her truth would unleash. The second confession appears in the form of Mr. Thompson, a seemingly cheerful schoolteacher, the mirror exposes his struggle with identity, unveiling his true name, Marcus, and a violent past he has fled. His facade of kindness masks the terror of his potential exposure. I'll never be free, revealing his inner torment and fear that his new life could crumble if the past resurfaces. 
Lastly, Idris, the charismatic man who has deceived his loved ones with a fabricated persona, is revealed. Posing as an Australian citizen, his deception masks the life left behind in the Gambia, where he faced legal troubles, including manslaughter charges. The mirror shows him holding his unsuspecting lover and whispering, If she finds out, it will break a heart and mine. The vision poignantly captures the ruinous nature of secrets on relationships, illustrating the deep conflict between love and self-preservation. Each revelation binds Alex closer to the dark tapestry of the town's secrets. Alex recognises a chilling theme. The overwhelming weight of unspoken truths defines the townsfolk, and the mirror serves as a portal to confront not just individual shadows, but the collective fears that ensnare them. As Alex delves deeper into these confessions, they grapple with their past, questioning if revealing one's true self is worth the darkness that it exposes. As Alex stands before the mirror, a mystic flood of vision sweeps over them, painting a vivid portrait of concealed turmoil harboured by the townsfolk. Each reflection reveals a confession so profound and intertwined in deceit that it unravels the lives of many. The first vision brings forth Sophie, a woman from a neighbouring village, ensnared in guilt. Her betrayal extends beyond infidelity. She shares an intimate moment with her husband's best friend, a secret she has harboured for 16 years. Her son, she claims as her husband's, is a constant reminder of her transgression. Her whispered confession to the mirror, I can't lose them, even if they're not really mine, encapsulates her anguish trapped in a web of lies, terrified of the familial destruction her truth would unleash. The second confession appears in the form of Mr. Thompson, a seemingly cheerful schoolteacher. The mirror exposes his struggle with identity, unveiling his true name, Marcus, and a violent past he has fled. His facade of kindness masks the terror of his potential exposure. I'll never be free! revealing his inner torment and fear that his new life could crumble if the past resurfaces. Lastly, Idris, the charismatic man who has deceived his loved ones with a fabricated persona, is revealed. Posing as an Australian citizen, his deception masks the life left behind in the Gambia, where he faced legal troubles, including manslaughter charges. The mirror shows him holding his unsuspecting lover and whispering, If she finds out, it will break a heart and mine. The vision poignantly captures the ruinous nature of secrets on relationships, illustrating the deep conflict between love and self-preservation. Each revelation binds Alex closer to the dark tapestry of the town's secrets. Alex recognises a chilling theme. The overwhelming weight of unspoken truths defines the townsfolk, and the mirror serves as a portal to confront not just individual shadows, but the collective fears that ensnare them. As Alex delves deeper into these confessions, they grapple with their past, questioning if revealing one's true self is worth the darkness that it exposes.